So today I'm going to show you how to find out what keywords your article is already ranking for. So by ranking, I mean it's showing up in Google search results when someone types in the keywords um, that it says it's ranking for. Now this is a great quick and easy tip which will make a big difference to how you rank in Google so you'll get more traffic and hopefully make more money too. So you need to go to Search Console and you need to click on Performance and then you come here and you're going to filter it by the page that you're trying to improve. So you can put the whole URL here for the page or if you know, you know, there's a couple of words in it like I know for this article which aren't in any other URL on your site then you can do that as well. And then this will just bring back how you're going for that article. I would also just select everything at the top here. Now click so how many times someone's, uh, you can see better here, so when it's come up for Port Dixon Beach, 23 people have clicked in that time frame. It's been seen 573 times, so that's how many times people have actually seen it in Google search results is impressions. That's the click-through rate, so 4% of the time people saw it, it was clicked, um, which is pretty good because it's saying my average position is 8.5. So you can do that, um, that's great. Now, if you have something about your keyword, uh, like your topic on that post where a keyword would have to include that name, so like in travel, often the destination would have to be included. You could also filter by that um, just to bring down the list a little bit, like with query, because you'll find there's lots of random keywords in there which don't really describe your article well, and they don't really matter. So if you are, if you know, if there is something to do with your topic that that you really need that word in there. You could do query and put the word there and, and just make it the process a little bit quicker for yourself. But in my case, there isn't really anything because Port Dixon can be called PD and stuff too. So um, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Now you just need to download it. Uh, so we just click export to CSV. And then we're going to analyze these. So these are all the keywords and all the information we just saw in there. Now what we want to work out um, is a few things. So one, you can go through at this point and remove any irrelevant keywords. Okay, so that's the name of a night market, right? Like I'm writing about the beach, I don't really care about that night market, so I remove it. Anything irrelevant you could, or Port Dixon, it's just the place name, right? I'm writing about the beach, the place name doesn't matter and it's going to be in there anyway. So you can go through um, and just remove irrelevant keywords or if they just really don't make sense, you could remove them as well. Okay, because you want to chop down this list. You know, this was 263, it's a bit long. I can't really put 263 keywords in, although some would have already been in there. Um, but you might have like up to 999, so you might want to chop it down a bit. Now, the next step then after that is to see if those keywords are already in your article. So you can just search for these one by one in the article, but that's a bit painful. So I use a formula and the spreadsheet functionality. Um, first step is to copy and paste all the content of your um, article into one cell. So you just want it in one spot. It's now in A1 and Sheet 1. And I do have a formula if you're using Excel, I believe it works in Google Sheets as well. Um, if you're using something different, you'll just have to edit it a bit um, or work out how to do that in your system. Um, but this is a good starting point and if you're in Excel, this should work. Now it'll only work as long as Sheet 1, A1 is exactly where your um, keyword is and that um, and that your, sorry, is where your text for your post is and that, you know, A2 is where your keyword is. And as you scroll this down, um, this should work too if you have it set up exactly the same as me. Otherwise, you'll have to massage it a bit. If you really can't get the formula working, you can just do, you know, you can just search for these keywords in the article manually, but that's obviously a lot more work. So this will tell me which ones are already in there or not. Then you can filter based on them and you'll basically have your list then of um, what keywords you need to include, so all the ones that are false that aren't in there. Now you may still have, you know, I've got 198 keywords, I'm probably not adding all of those. I prioritize based on impressions and position. So mostly by position, so you could uh, sort this, so the best position first, because if I'm already 2.29, um, not that that really makes sense, so I wouldn't add that. Uh, you know, adding the keyword, if it's not already there, could be enough to push you to one. And, you know, five might get you to three and all those types of things. And there's a much bigger difference to how much traffic you get moving from five to one than from 50 to 40, you know. So the higher the position is already, the more I want to give it a little boost. But I'd also look at impressions. You know, if it's just had one impression and no one's really searching anyway and it doesn't really matter, you know, the higher the impressions are, the more I want to add it as well. So I kind of just balance up those two and then just add as many as I can 